Jeopardy is in town. Sarah Whitcomb is with us. You're with the Clue Crew. Yes, it's tough to say that. It is <laughs> tough to say. You're probably used to it because you've been doing it a long time now. I have been with the Jeopardy Clue Crew for nine years now and had the chance to really see our country and see the world with this job. How exciting. Now tell us why you're in Coda Territory. Well, we're here actually to play Classroom Jeopardy with a school, a lucky school that your station has selected. We're going to be going to Wall High School and we're going to be visiting Mrs. Trask's 11th grade algebra class and playing Classroom Jeopardy, which is this wonderful product that allows teachers to customize what they're studying in the classroom and actually bring that to the Jeopardy format. So you've got Johnny Gilbert's voice saying, this is Jeopardy, and the Daily Doubles, and the real buzzers like we uh -huh. use on the show. So kids love it because they're, you know, learning and studying what they have in school, what they're trying to learn in school, but it's fun, and it's just like the show they see on television. Oh, so we're going to be playing exciting. that. That'll be just a little bit later today, those yes. lucky students. The teacher can uh, mold this curriculum, I mean, uh, Geography, anything, history? Anything. Like I said, we're going to be playing algebra questions, but you could do geography, you could do math, you could do social studies, you know, you can do fun categories. Uh, we're going to be throwing in a few clues about the different teachers at Wall High School as well. Uh -huh. So we'll be quizzing the students not only on their algebra skills, but also how well they know their uh, faculty. Oh, how fun. Yeah. Customized. This is not something that's available to the average Joe in a store. This is. Yeah, we can't go out and buy it for, for our homes, but it is something that is in over 30,000 schools across the U.S. So teachers have, you know, been telling their principals, hey, I've been playing Jeopardy in the classroom for years, but now there's a product that makes it not my flashcards on the chalkboard. This makes it really fun and really realistic to the game. So a lot of schools are able to, you know, buy the unit. But thankfully, we're going to be donating it on behalf oh. of CODA and also Jeopardy. Wonderful gift. Tell us more about your job and what you do with Jeopardy. Well, when I'm not visiting classrooms, I truly have the best job in the world. I have the chance to travel all over the country. Here I am in Alaska with a moose, snowboarding in Utah. And we hope to think that our clues are really ways to bring the clues to life. So when you're watching Jeopardy. Oh, Red you know, Square. Yeah, Russia. Oh. You still have Alex reading the text clues, but every once in a while, one of us, uh, myself or Jimmy or Kelly, come on the screen and deliver a clue from a various location around the U.S. and the world and some pretty high-flying adventures. Oh, I understand man. you can relate to the Thunderbirds <laughs> yeah, having, can, having done that yourself. So. Yeah, and you're talking with the ventilator on. That's cool. What neat job. Yeah, so we think that this really brings a new element to Jeopardy. We've been uh, part of the show now for nine years, and we, we think that it really brings clues to life and allows our Jeopardy viewers to travel with us, you know, take them behind the scenes to places you've always wondered what that looks like yeah. or how that factory operates or how, you know, different things get put together. So it's uh, it's always changing, it's always evolving, and there's yeah. always some new place to explore. So we're... How fun. Now, Sarah, you've been scouting coded territory for a potential future trip back for That clues. is right. We've actually been to 46 states, and South Dakota is not one of them. So I'm keeping my eyes out because I've seen a lot of great clue locations. So I'm hoping to get the clue crew back soon to South Dakota and uh, tape some of the wonderful, wonderful things you have. Wyoming, some great places too. We've Nebraska. been to Wyoming oh, okay. and Nebraska, believe it or not, but somehow now South Dakota. Oh. So we're going to we're going to check that off the list soon, I absolutely believe. Well, how wonderful. Classroom Jeopardy going to Wall a little bit later today. We're so glad you could join us. Well, thank you so much. And I understand you're sending a crew out there, so yeah. um, more more to come. And we hope that right. the we'll students the have a lot tonight. of great, great time with us today. Thank you for joining us, Sarah Whitcomb, thank you. with Jeopardy. Jeopardy travels to about 12 schools every year, and this year students at Wall High School are part of those lucky few. As our Jason Tarr tells us, classroom visits are just part of the adventure for members of the Jeopardy Clue Crew. She travels the globe as part of the Jeopardy Clue Crew, but today is a different kind of adventure for Sarah Whitcomb. Getting Mrs. Trask's 11th graders at Wall High School excited about algebra questions. You always wonder, too, if the high school kids are going to be a little too cool to play Jeopardy and, and really get into it. Whitcomb's experiences with the Clue Crew have prepared her for almost anything. I've had the chance to fly with the Thunderbirds. I've had the chance to travel to Antarctica. I've had the chance to do clues with wildlife like Big Moose and travel to places like Russia and Egypt. So. I truly feel I have the job of a lifetime. Despite having been to 33 countries and all over the U.S., the crew has never taped clue segments in five states, including South Dakota, making today's visit that much more special for the kids. It was fun and, you know, it was fast-paced and you had to be quick and you had to know the answer in so much time, so it's really, you had to use your head. 
three teams fight it out. Okay. Coaches! And a champion is crowned. That's right. Thank you! But it is the school taking home the biggest prize with Jeopardy and KOTA donating the game to be used at the school. So all the teachers in the school are probably going to be fighting for this unit and wanting to customize games that they can play with their students as you know finals come up and the end of the year. So I'm excited that Jeopardy will be at Wall High School for years to come. Mm -hmm. This is Jeopardy! In Wall, Jason Tarr, Coda Territory News. Classroom Jeopardy is played in about 30,000 schools across the country. Jeopardy and KOTA, happy to add Wall to that list. Very customizable so they can use uh, any, you know, geography, sports history, anything they want. Meteorology? Meteorology. Okay. For coverage, you can count on 24-7. Visit our website at CODATV.com. Our first team salute from students playing Jeopardy at Wall High School. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at 10. Thanks for watching Coda Territory News. Coverage you can count on yesterday, today, and tomorrow.